Hi, and welcome to Nikolai Bukjensen's amazing tutorial on how to build a maze within C++. This is the second hand-in for the procedural programming course at Aalborg University. As you can see on the left side of the screen, we have the maze that I built in C++. The walls is primarily built on a uh, number signs, and the enemies is built with the uh, higher than or lower than symbols. The main character over here is built with an add sign, and then at the bottom we have the health bar, which consists of add signs, 10 in total. If you hit an enemy, you will lose add signs. Um, if you stand on the same ground as him, the same uh, spot as him, then you will lose 3 points. If you pass through him, you will lose, you will lose 2 points. As you can see, um, the screen Hey, I'm pretty lucky I don't run into any of the enemies, actually. They are usually more aggressive. As you can see, the screen is uh, flashing. And that's because it uh, rebuilds the entire maze. It deletes and rebuilds the entire maze every time I hit a button. With the main character and uh, the enemy's new positions. And now I won. Uh, let's begin with the code. At first, I include the main things that uh, I have to include in the programming. String, IO stream, CSTDLib, and so on. I will not get into that. Uh, then I create some variables that I have to use later on. Which is, for instance, uh, the button the button system. Um, key left is A, for, for instance. If you push left, then you push A instead. It's the... Uh, Built and uh, for instance, they use it in Counter Strike, and it's actually pretty natural to do it like that. I find it uh, really effective. Um, then they have the maze's height and width, the the dimensions of the maze, and then uh, it uh, if the game is playing, it's true, and if the game is uh, lost, it's uh, false. It's a boolean I set up to actually stop the game. Um, then we have the health bar variable, uh, <coughs> which is an array of 10 app symbols, which is the HP here. And then we have the inter integer HP, which is a, a value we use to affect the health bar. I will get into that uh, later on. Then we um, create some structs right here. Uh, the, base the basic thing about these structs is that they are only I don't set any values for them. I don't uh, design how they are. I only say that they have some variables that I can affect later on. For instance, the player has a jar named Sprite, which uh, can make which make me makes makes me able to um, determine what symbol the main character has got to be, and uh, what x position and y position the main character has to be placed on. Then we have the enemy, same story. The only thing difference is the pass direction X and pass direction Y. Um, that, that, that made that because it have to remember the last placement of the, the enemy. Because it does, it, I don't want it to go back and forward all the time. Which you will do if I made a random function that I tell, and it, uh, it's on a straight uh, road. It will just go back and forward because it, it, there will be a 50-50% chance of it uh, hitting the same. Yeah, you get the point. Uh, then we have the enemy, uh, which I made. I first made some um, booleans that are set to false, for instance. Um, then uh, it's a possible up. It tells if it's possible to go up. It sets them by default to false. Then we have some if function that changes them. If a uh, wall is not presented in front of them. For instance, here is the write function, which is wrote here, um, which tells if there, on the right x coordinate, if there is a wall one to the right, then uh, if there isn't a wall one to the right, it's possible to go right. And the same with the other here. Um, then we have this. Um, it basically, uh, yeah, it kind of 
is not that interesting. It just uh, determines the, the previous uh, movement, which will be determined uh, more detailed later on. This just remembers it. Um, let's see here. This is kind of in interesting. Um, it tells us uh, I made this with uh, both uh, right, left, uh, up, down, etc. In a, um, it tells us if the pass direction x is equal to right, or there is no possibility of going right, um, then it have to uh, either move down, move up, or left. And uh, yeah, it uh, kind of remembers the the pass direction y and pass direction x. So that's why uh, I made some some functions, some if functions that uh, made it actually pretty much like artificial intelligence in the enemies. It's pretty basic, but it's pretty long code. Um, let's see, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. It works pretty well, this code. Um, then we have down here, the switch case when you push for for instance up or actually if the case is up uh, this is affected by the only by you pushing a button um, if when you push a button and the the value is up for instance within one enemy then uh, it uh, goes down or something like that. Uh, it goes up um, and it's pretty if yeah yeah and it deletes the last uh, the last frame it was on so we don't have like a hundred enemies over here um yeah let's see return maze blah 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 then we get to the main function which is the maze and uh, here we have the whole maze or uh, which is an array <coughs> containing both height and width it was pretty much just uh, I had just had to design the whole maze from scratch or, um, like type in all the numbers so it would uh, create a maze eventually then we have the player sprite we determine uh, what the player looks like we uh, determine where he will be in the maze at the beginning for instance uh, the y-axis one down and zero from the x-axis then the enemy is kinda funny um, we place the enemy randomly the enemy will get a sprite as a higher than or lower than sign and then we place it randomly in modulus with the width and with the height uh, so it will be placed randomly on this screen if however it will the place it's uh, placed on the enemy is uh, not not uh, blank it will generate the this one more time this uh, random function in a while loop so until it get it right then it will keep on uh, keep on playing the random function when it's right it will generate the enemy and I've done this with all the enemies that's uh, on the screen then I create a string called brief move, which uh, is set to NA, which actually was uh, affected later uh, earlier on. I think I can't remember. Uh, that doesn't matter. Um, it will be explained for later, if not presented earlier. Um, while hasn't one is true. Uh, the boolean I talked about earlier um, it will generate the different enemy sprites it will generate the 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 player when they move um, when he moves actually um, let's see when the yeah yeah um, let's see when the 
places blank where you have to go to, it will generate a sprite. That's actually what it says. Um, and if it's not blank, not a wall either, but an enemy, it will create a modular sign, which we also saw when we played the game. Uh, which is an indicator of you taking damage. Um, then we have the a follow for the for the maze, which tells us that the at the Y position first we play a follow for the Y position with an follow for the X position in it, and the Y position's follow tells us that we have to go one line down each time there is for each uh, height number. And uh, the width and their X positions follow up, um, uh, X follow up tells us that we have to um, see out the maze in all its lines. So we first generate the X, the Y position, uh, the Y follow up, um, and then we generate the X. Then we see out the HP in a follow up. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic also. I will not get into that. And uh, the switch key, which is the player's uh, switch. Um, when you push left, for instance, we can see it. Uh, if uh, the position, if the X position sensor, if the X position right to your left is not a wall, it will. Uh, it will delete the player completely from the spot he is currently on and uh, move him over to the other point right here and uh, if the, the place he goes to has uh, this sign it will it will give him 20 damage in value which is two points at the health bar all right, and the key up is basically the same, just with other co coordinates and uh, down and right, the same. Q, you can quit the game if you want to. If you push Q, you quit the game. Then we have the, the booleans, once one, and so on, so on, um, which is set to true. They only have uh, here regenerate the. Uh, uh, we update the enemy's uh, position, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. We don't have much time left. Um, I can only record for like 15 minutes. Um, if the player here is, uh, if the player's X position is equal to the enemy's X position and the player's Y position is equal to the enemy's Y position. It will take 30, uh, 30 in value from the HP, which is three lives here. And I have done this with all the enemies, like you can see. Um, then at last we have the HP. If the HP is less than or equal to zero, it will see out a loser issue. And then it will pause the game and set the Haston 1 to false. And if the player x is equal to the width minus one, which is right here, is actually this whole line, but you can't go to the, you can't go through this, go into this wall, so you have to go in here. And then it will see out a Rinra issue. It will pause the game and set the system to false. It has to fall to walls, false. And uh, then at last it will, uh, like I said, it, the game was kind of flashing, so uh, I set the Animator system CLS to clear the screen every time it generates a new a new uh, maze with the new positions. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. Have a good day.